SEMA show this week and we each asked to pick out our favorite car. And being a fabricator, this really caught my eye, the bare metal, the touches of aluminum. Uh, Brian, tell us what you got here. And uh, I got somebody's favorite car at SEMA. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So this is the uh, this is the double down, and uh, it was a, a cooperation with Jet Hot Coatings. What we wanted to do was to be able to build something to highlight, you know, coating use. Not only obviously anti friction in the engine, header coating and such, and obviously do it in a way that would be really fun and really fast. And uh, they uh, the family does a lot of racing. So it made sense, obviously, to build a, a, a race car. Sure. And um, I don't know. It's 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 been a pretty fun deal. We've been working on it about a year, but it basically started as um, there was a guy who in Atlanta, and um, he had decided to make a, a Cannonball Run car. So he had kind of NASCAR style wheels, small block, sit 32 Ford, and it had been sitting since 1971 oh, wow. and he didn't even take the tools out oh man so the tools <laughs> were still laying on the bench mocked up and I, he wouldn't sell the car not that i had the money for it anyway so i collected parts and eventually ran into jet hot and we got to talk about what do you want to build let's build something together you know and i was like how about this you know 32 cannonball run car and they're like yeah that's that's pretty awesome i like it and then I, for some weird reason, it was really strange that there was like this, I had an idea going across, like literally I watched an idea, very strange, but I watched the idea come across and it was like, I was like, don't say it, don't say it, don't even say it. And I was like, what if it was all wheel drive? And they were like, yes, I can't believe it. We were just talking about an all wheel drive <laughs> car. That would be, oh my God, that's crazy. So, um, so that's kind of how it started. Nice. So tell me a little bit more about some of the custom touches you have as far as the metal work goes. Well, the whole car is, um, you know, built for uh, built for speed, and um, in order to, uh, Gordon uh, wanted us to kind of push the styling, and not have it just be kind of a regular 32 on the outside. Sure. So he really pushed me to um, to do something different. We needed air venting, obviously. The radiator is in the back. We've got a pump that runs about 52 gallons a minute. Oh wow. It's supposed to be, it's a uh, 600 cubic inch Kazi motor. It's gonna be put together by Kerr Urban. And it's supposed to go somewhere naturally aspirated, 850 horse, nine, somewhere in that range. Just enough. It's gonna be a lot, <laughs> 2,400 pound-ish car. That's a rocket ship there. Yeah. How did you accomplish the all-wheel drive setup with it? Well, the, there, was a lot of, there was a lot of head scratching in order to get the all-wheel drive set up, but basically we started with a uh, a thousand pounds capable uh, G-Force tranny. We made it to uh, basically a GM Denali transfer case, which is a um, uh, oil bath chain, just like a motorcycle primary, very simple system. Kicks it forward, and in the front we made a, we basically copied the original, minus some links, kick it over to a custom gear, which is a $2,500 gear, by the way custom gear which is an inside brooch and an outside for the chain and that's what makes it to the reverse cut ring and pinion quick change. Wow, so that's quick change front and back then? Yeah, two quick changes. One of the dreams that's of my awesome. life was to have one quick change on a car. That was like one of my little dreams. And you, know? you got to. And, well it's not my car, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you go about uh, fabricating some of these custom touches? Okay, the um, probably the, the couple of the hardest ones were we did these inset panels to get air out, and we ended up doing that with a press form. So I basically took MDF, made the uh, outside perimeter, and then had another press form MDF that had the inside diameter. Um, did some test pieces, and what I ended up having to do was anneal, anneal only the front, because when I was annealing the back, it was making it so loosey-goosey, then when it would come out of the, of the press form, this would end up really ripply. Oh, okay. But without it, it would make this obviously a lot harder to get. I mean, it's almost an inch and a half. Yeah. You know, it's a, probably an inch and a quarter draw in the front, and that's a lot. So, and then getting the taper right. Originally, I thought, okay, I'm going to make one more square piece here and drop it so that this is more flat. But whenever I would do that, it would wrinkle. It would wrinkle each corner, 
making cleanup that I was trying to, trying to avoid. Right. So by just one piece, put the press, uh, put it in a jet press right there, knock it down, work it down, and then I had C-clamps, big C-clamps in the back and all the way around, trying to keep it to, you know, keep it from breaking out. Well, it came out great. I have one final question for you, though. <laughs> How do you open these doors? We're, um, it, it is a dedicated race car. It does have two bars that can come out. Um, our, our plan is that we're gonna put pins in, and we've got a uh, NOS Lockheed, I think it was a tail wheel lock, if I'm not mistaken, so that they could lock the rear wheel to keep it from pivoting. And it's an old NOS part, but it's like a lever. It's really bitching, you know, aircraft part. That will run two pins in each side, and then just two pins down, and you just pull it out if you need a door. But nine times out of 10, you just go Dukes of Hazard style. Yeah, over. it's not really gonna be much, you know, I think it, it, it will be street legal in theory, but it's not really gonna be a great street car, I don't think. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an animal. I mean, it, it's gonna be absolutely an animal. So I don't think it's really gonna be one that you just wanna get in and, I mean, you're gonna want to, but run down the street. And <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that was great. Top field dragster going down to the your grocery store. Right. So that's well, the plan. Well, it's an awesome car, man. It's thank definitely you. my favorite here. And uh, I just want to thank you again for hey. taking the time to talk to us. No problem. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I'm glad you liked it.